All right, here we go again. Now, this time around, I have a few videos that um, some of you have recommended and some I just found on the tube. And I'll be reacting to some of these videos. These are not like parts of any shows. I think these are like one-offs or maybe clips or something like that. Uh, so, the three simple rules for this reaction will be, there are no rules. Second rule is, yeah, no rules. Third rule is, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, we'll get right into it. Now, I have these, I don't know if these are in order, but... I have this one called Carl Pilkington working at XFM earliest known footage. So I'm going to guess this is the oldest I'm guessing here. Uh, so we should start with this one. Lego. 4th January 2003. Oh. That's Carl there. <laughs> Say hello. Hi. Yeah, that's Carl. He's... Um, Stop that a minute, Carl. Um, he's a producer on uh, the XFM show. It's yeah. What's there. this for? Um, well, let me explain. Um, I've uh, I've just realised that it's two days before the opening night, <laughs> and I've got no one to introduce the support act, Johnny Candon. You know him. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record one on tape. I've left at the last minute, but a friend is going to help me out, aren't you, Carl? I'll, I'll do. Yeah. Carl Pilkington there. All right. Um, what do you think of this? I've got a joke. Um, I was going to say um, I was going to do sort of like a, a spoof sort of charity thing that, and um, then I was going to go. And uh, he's all the way from Dublin. He's a handsome, strong man. Um, ladies, you'll want him to take you home and give you a hard, smooth, long asphalt drive. Sorry. I'd laugh. <laughs> you would, under what circumstances would you laugh? Because I just told it to you and you fucking didn't. Yeah, but it's different when there's, do you know what I mean? When you're with a load of people who are laughing, you sort of laugh with them. <laughs> but, yeah, it's funny, I'd do that. That'll work. <laughs> Maybe it won't, actually. It might, might come across as a bit racist. Yeah. Well, Johnny's not black, is he? No. I mean, the Irish race, the Irish nation, the Irish. <laughs> Yeah, look, right. look what happened to Anne Robinson when she said the Welsh. Well, I can... They all got annoyed, didn't they? Yeah, but what did they do? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> right, then we'll get some level then. Testing, testing. Carl Pilkington's little baldy head. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's bad, because you know that... It what? Looks, it, it looks rounder on, on tape than it does in real life. <laughs> look at that head. Look at that. <laughs> wow I love you know what I love the the thumbnail of this you can if you squint real hard you can almost see Ricky's fingerprints on Carl's head <laughs> I like how comfortable he was I think this was at this point maybe that uh, he just accepted this as his new reality it's like yeah like Carl like Ricky's gonna talk about my head every day of my life now so I may as well just Say it myself. Uh, <laughs> that was nice, though. Ah, God. Okay, 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 come on. Let's jump into the next one. Uh, happy slapped by a jellyfish. Did I go? The new book from Carl Pilkington. Oh, okay. I, um, I did my new book. At home, you know, all the, all the writing oh, and the drawings and that. Oh, so cute. Which, you know, should be a pleasure to do, really, you know, working out of home. But, um, it wasn't. The amount of noise from downstairs, they've, they've got builders in oh, at no. the moment, and they, they're ripping the place apart, they're knocking down walls, they're drilling all hours. It's been doing me head in, there's dust everywhere. I've been breathing that in, which made me ill a bit. <laughs> um, so that's that's when Ricky said, you know, if I wanted to get away from the noise and that, I could use his office to work. Yeah, in. right. But 
it can be just as hard to work in there sometimes. That's crazy. Is that annoying? Well, oh, okay. Is it Yep. Oh, I oh, remember this. Clean. I remember this. I, you can complain to him before that you you were ill. I think at some point he's so gonna you keep your surroundings gonna clean. Use the thing on. Then you will never get ill, will you? This. <laughs> 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 oh god! Oh god! That was amazing! <laughs> no, it was not that good. So that's why I decided, you know, be easy just to, to work at home in the end. <laughs> what the fuck? Have oh. my way here, these the words are complicated. Oh my god. If only, if only this was available on audiobook, apparently it's not, which is a shame because I would easily do more, you know, of the XFM type reactions. I don't mind at all <laughs> listening to an hour of Carl, although, um, I don't know, I mean, without Ricky, uh, uh, okay, it might be a bit of a challenge. It's it's the, it's this, uh, the, dyna the dynamic between, you know, all three of them. That's actually what made XFM show so great. Uh, I mean, what was he thinking? It's like, oh, I'm going to go to, to Ricky's office for some peace and quiet. <laughs> no. Uh, but I remember I saw that, that clip of uh, when Ricky did the thing with his face. This was in, in another, uh, used in another uh, video by Carl uh, about art. I remember because he was going around showing this to people saying this is, a, this is apparently his art, you know. I don't know what the hell that was. Anyway, let's get into the next one. Ricky Gervais popping a cork on Carl's head. I remember this. I didn't see this, but I remember hearing it on the XFM shows. Uh, I remember actually hearing the cork pop. And I remember, you know, like, like Carl was... Whatever, whatever. You know what? Let's just go, go through it. Let go. See you head a little bit. I want, we want to get the noise, the microphone there. Right, ready? Hold on. Good. So you're just right. doing it. Hold oh, on. for Carl. No. He's covering it's his in own position. Why would you what? do this, Carl? Oh. Ready? Yep. Oh, got it. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, it's like, it's like jackass. Did it hurt? Did I hit me? What do you mean, did it hit you? I thought I just... I... It, I went off, it went off course, did it? Just glanced at it. Right, Linda, are you going to send us um, eight more bottles, please? Because yeah, we we're going to get this right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, smiling. <laughs> it's pixelated, like I can sort of see this <laughs> Okay, I guess that one was saved, you know? <laughs> Oh, wow. I mean, I'm, I'm glad they had the camera on. I wish they had more clips, honestly, from the XFM shows. I, more clips like this, even. I don't care. It's like something. Just, just record anything and show me. I'm so intrigued, you know, because... I mean, okay. So, for the XFM, we have nothing. We only have their voices. For the animation, we don't have the real faces either. We just have the animation, which is amazing. But it's still not their real faces. <laughs> I was so curious. Like, I just want to see their actual faces during, you know, a whole episode of them just talking to each other. Ah, uh, God, poor Carl went through so much physical abuse. God, this was just one instance of the things that happened on the XFM shows. Just one. So many more things happened. They stuffed burgers in his mouth. I think grapes as well. They... The, I think Ricky May made him take off his shoe. Oh, God. There's so much actual... I mean... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't even know how to defend it. You know, it's like, oh, I, I guess it's the show. It's for the show, so Carl's okay with it. I don't know. I don't know if that's even a good defense, to be honest. But, uh, well, you know, um, they, remained, they were friends, at least at that time. 
So, yeah, you know, Steve said it. He said it's like something from Jackass. So, so they were going for that, I guess, on a radio show. Ay, ay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's get into the next one. Okay. Ricky Gervais wrestling Carl Pilkington and squeezing his head. <laughs> This one's just going to be full abuse, isn't it? It's just nothing but abuse in this. Anyway, let go. Steve, come over here a minute. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, Carl. Oh, he's got him pinned just down. Just ask Carl a few questions about what's going on. Uh, you enjoying this, Carl? <laughs> Not really. No. No. Why? To be honest with you. Why do you allow this to go on? Well, what do you do? <laughs> So you're out of his reach. He can't climb you. <laughs> no, but he's got a voiceover tomorrow. Haven't you? Tell him what is what you got to say. I'm not telling him, Ross. It's like this. Well, just uh, no, just no. practice it. No. If you can do it like this, you can do it tomorrow. I'm not doing it, Ross, like this. Say it. Because this isn't how they do it tomorrow. <laughs> no. He's got to say. Poor guy. Ula hoops. They're in a world of their own. Try that. I'm not doing it, Ross. I'm sweating. I know you are. Right, I know you are, he's still just wet. You can't bite! Look, it's like a little lamprey! Fuck you! It's like a little fucking little baldy! Fucking hell! What's he doing? What? What? Are you exercising? Come on, what? Let me see what you're doing. <laughs> so the, now do the Uru time. Look at the camera and do it. Don't have to, it's just the voice now. I'll try it then. It's just going to be in sleep with the next one. Uru Oops. They're in a world of their own. It's the, the world of their own. It's the world of their own. They're in a world of their own. Because this, this is all about trust and believability when you're trying to sell a product. You can't, they can't be more <laughs> yeah, here he goes. Really okay. So really mean it. Who do They are in a world of their own. They are, yeah. They're, they're, they're the, you know, they're the only <laughs> hoops. Like they're in a world of their own. Do it again. Okay, do it again. Hula hoops. They are in a world of they their are, own. They are, no, because that sounds They're in a world of their own. That's it, now do it yeah. straight down. They're in a world of their own. What are they? They're in a world of their own. Okay, now just all do it in one. Like, this Hula hoops. They're in a world of their okay, own. Okay, I was just start, I was just speaking over that, so just wait for me and... <laughs> Hula hoops. They're in a world of their oh, own. But, lose the gap and look at the camera. Lose the gap in the edit. No, 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 because that's false. Lose you know, the gap in the edit. Use it. Okay. It's to be used. Okay, Hula hoops, they're in a world of their own. Tick, tick, tick. Look, look at the camera. Tick, tick, tick. Like, <laughs> He's like, tick. Hula hoops, they're in a world of their own. Okay, just close that gap a little bit. Hula hoops, they're in a world of their own. Okay, look at the camera. Hula hoops, they're in a world of their own. Okay, look at the camera. Hula hoops, they're in a world of their own. Brilliant. Yeah. I'm going to do the film, Steve, in Boston. He's there, as you know, flew seven hours. Dressed up as a caveman, uh, two days on the set. It's not been used. It's been cut out. So there's an exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we got work to do. <laughs> yeah, right. Dribble starts to sort him. <laughs> okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's difficult. That, that was a typical video. I mean, it starts out with Ricky literally pinning Carl down like a, like a prey. Uh, yeah, but but I, I don't know what the hell Carl was doing with that thing. I don't, I don't know what that was. Was that some exercise? Because I've never seen that before. Oh, God. You know, the, 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 the funny thing is, well... Everything is funny, <laughs> but the thing that stuck out for me was, you know, Carl takes the um, the easy option because he works in sound. He takes the easy option. And he's like, just cut that out in the edit. That is always the easiest. <laughs> you know, it's like, well, that person in another scenario would be paid for the voiceover. So 
And you know what? Make that person say it a million times. Let them earn their money, okay? Let them do it, do it right. Not everything should be in editing. You know, but just, just that's something that stuck out to me in that video. Everything else is uh, <laughs> it's pretty much what was happening on the show. Wrestling squeezing. Wrestling squeezing. Uh, okay. Okay. You know what? We got one more. One more. Ricky Gervais. What the hell? I think this one is, is uh, you know, I think maybe this one was uh, Ricky, Steve, and Carl together again. I think that's what this one says. I, I may have, uh, I mean, I didn't, I don't remember if I wrote this title for this video when I downloaded it or if it was original like this. If it was original like this, it says Ricky, comma, Gervais and Carl together again, which is wrong. It should be Ricky, Steve and Carl together again, I'm assuming. Anyway, Lego. Oh. That round head. We've just done um, a little show for Enemy Radio launch, haven't we, Carl? Mm. Yeah, the Enemy Show. Steve there. That's Steve. Steve there Merchant. Go. Very important. Cold in this big wheel. Yeah. And he's off to New York now, a bit of a player. You bloody know it, mate. Yeah, I just got to shoot over to the Big Apple and uh, you know, see what's going on over there. Probably getting a. Um, <laughs> hey, talking of music, probably getting a big yellow taxi. Jim Mitchell. Yeah, I know. Um, maybe cruise down to. Um, the Bronx. Okay. Across 110th Street? Across 110th Street. Uh, um, some references. Yeah. Okay. Well, don't forget, don't, well, be careful, don't get, get a, an 8th Avenue freeze out. Oh, okay. Ah, Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, okay, okay. And, okay. Um, and uh, Broadway, The Clash. Like the Clash. Bad Apple Gas. <laughs> Cat Stevens. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, no, oh, I bet, guess what? There's going to be no sleep till Brooklyn. Brooklyn. <laughs> um, Carl, well, any. Uh, New York related pun song titles. Yeah. Um, New York. Not New York, New York, or anything with New York. That's too it. It's just <laughs> something a little bit more lateral. Uh, do you know anyone who lives over there who's a, who's a native New Yorker? Good one. Nice. Oh, well, it says no so New York, though, so do one without New York in the title. Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course. You know anyone yeah. who's been born in the USA? Well, it's not specifically New York, is it? It's a big place, mm. USA, so it's got to be to do with New York, but not mention New York. Uh... <laughs> well, so it's, it's a... They're, uh... They're living in the city. <laughs> well, really, there's any city. That's, That's any what city. Yeah, but it's any city. It's got to be. Um, this is exhausting. Oh, oh, dang. <laughs> uh, Positively 4th Street. We just said loads there. Yeah, yeah well, you've had first dibs. Yeah. Hang on a minute. The world. Uh, <laughs> that noise is actually on? Carl's brain just turning over. Go on. What's the one about one big apple? That's uh, what it's one. Uh, that, the world is. Yeah. Well, I know what he's thinking of. Well, it's just a great big onion. <laughs> Joe the taxi. Well, that could be anywhere. But New York taxi. But no, but that's <laughs> not the title of the song. If it was New York taxi, it would be banned anyway, because it's got New York in the title. We had Big Yellow Taxi. That is New York. It doesn't mention New York. It's a Joni Mitchell song. It works. <laughs> Poor Carl. Why? It's that picture now on a freeze frame. <laughs> <laughs> what are the other streets? <laughs> oh, oh, God! Carl! Carl, okay, right. Say something to do, right. Think of something to do with New York, then see if that is a title of a song, and then say it out loud with your mouth. So, something to do with New York. Is that a title of a song? Does it have New York in the title? If it doesn't, but it is about New York, then say the title of the song. Oof. So far, you've come up with titles with New York in the title. Can you We're think of any others? We well, yeah, we well, will in a minute. On your own. Not, I don't, I don't, yeah, because you said that we had first dibs. You just saw how quick we just came up with them then. So come up with one. <laughs> God, it's taking so long. What's the name of the uh, the statue? Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. Huh? Is there any songs with liberty in? Well, that's that's well, yeah. If there yeah, but it has to be statue. Statue. 
I'd, I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd, uh, I'd let you have that. Crosstown traffic. That could be any city. No, but it was about New York. It was about crosstown traffic. It was about crosstown traffic. What's the one about... Jesus. Um, <laughs> where the streets have no name. Just numbers. It's this. You sing, is it? Is that? You too. You too, yeah. There you go. Is it new? You could have had Angel of Harlem, that would have been easier. That would have been easier, yeah. And the oh, streets yeah. do have names down. down I'm not sure that is that town, is it? Well, they haven't got names. They do have names. Well, so the streets do have, have names. Name. Where's that? New York. Is it? Are you sure? Where else would they be? Well, there are some streets with names there, aren't there? Yeah, there are. Right. Yeah, yeah down, down, down south and Soho, they've all got names. Yeah, but it's where the streets have no name. The streets in New York have no name, they're numbers. No, some of them have names. They don't have names, where? yeah. Well, we just York. named some, Bleecker Street. Yeah, I'm talking about New York. That's in New York! That's what <laughs> Simon and Garfunkel wrote about it. It's down in Soho, Bleecker Street. Just give know, up. Okay. <laughs> 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 that, that, oh my god. That was good enough to be on the XFM show, to be honest. That felt like an, that felt like an exact interaction that they would do on the XFM shows. Oh, oh God, poor car, that's torturous. I mean, if this was on the radio, Ricky would have destroyed him. Ricky would have drove him insane ten times more than he has done here, to be honest. Because imagine the stress of knowing you're on the air and you're approaching a commercial break and you try to think of an answer and you know how Carl needs time and space and quiet to come up with any answer and Ricky's there in front of him going blah 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 God, God <laughs> I kind of wish they didn't do this on the, on the air to be honest <laughs> Oh God oh, Okay, okay, get up Now what I do have here, I said I would do this a while back, and honestly, I've been so busy that I only have time for this now. But I do go through the comments, uh, especially because some of you drop some amazing factoids in the comments. Uh, so I figured maybe I would just highlight a few and see. Okay, so first one here. Uh, Wild Wine says, Carl's Freak Book referred to as Top 50 Freaks is actually called the FHM Carnival of the Grotesque. If you search that, you'll see a few pictures from it, including the man with the chicken. Okay, let's see. Let's see. FHM Carnival of the Grotesque. FHM Carnival. Oh, there you go. Carnival of the Grotesque. Let's see. Images. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing... Just covers. Um, okay. Um, Carnival of the Grotesque. Let's see. Oh, okay, it's on Reddit. Let's see if it's here. Oh, UK, probably. Okay. Um, you know what? Uh, the Carnival of the Grotesque. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's the cover. Okay, FHM presents the Carnival of the Grotesque. And that's uh, also I'm seeing some pictures of Carl holding it. I'm seeing, I think, Pillow Man. Wow. I'm seeing the piano. I don't know, I don't know what he's called. The guy with the little head on the piano. <laughs> Carl. God damn it. Ah. Okay, okay. I mean, I, I, I would rather, honestly, not go through the, the actual book and see more. I mean, I'm not into what Carlos into, to be honest. But it just it strikes me as, as, as odd, you know, just the fact that Carl had this on his person, walking around from place to place, as if, like, he's going to need it at any minute, at any second. He's going to need to whip out that book and just learn something from it. Amazing. Okay, Let's see what we have here. Uh, Oblivion's Legend says Richard Anderson actually appeared on a fan podcast called The Trout Spinners a few years ago 
on it he said that the reason he stopped writing into the show was because he missed the news that they were returning after series 2 ended <laughs> big sense uh, he also said that he was becoming less interested in the show anyways because it was becoming too cause centric for his taste really he preferred the earlier shows where Ricky and Stevie contributed more I mean I can't believe there are some people who debate this Really, show me another call. Just show me another call. Just show me, put, put me to a person and, and tell and go, here's another call. He's someone exactly like Carl. I can't, you know, other than his dad, <laughs> which Carl, by his own words, said is an exaggerated version of himself. So scary. I, do, I don't think there is any other person like Carl. So, yeah, it was the correct decision to make him the focal point of the show. Honestly, I, I've listened to the, you know, some of the shows where he wasn't there. And Steve is so witty and, and Ricky, it's like, like they are talented. But, but it's not, it's not, what's the word for it? It's not special enough. <laughs> it's not special enough without Carl. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I just said special. Then I remembered the way he called said special needs. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, to me, it's Carl. Carl, for sure. He makes this show what it is. No way. Uh, so, Dickie Anders is wrong on that one. And finally, I have here, Tony says, I myself have never said Carl to be fully a scripted character. I do think they have plans for much of what they talk about, though, and I could see them, see them feeding him some things to say now and again, especially when he's insulting. <laughs> yeah, they, they do. You know what, though? This thing about Carl being a, a character, it can't be. And, and I'll tell you why. So, oof, okay, where do I begin with this? Now, if you're a writer, I, I'm like... I've been writing many years. I've I've studied screenwriting. I've I've my job, my actual job is copywriting, screenwriting, content writing, all sorts of writing, translation, everything. So I can tell you, when you have the mind of a writer, you follow patterns. Now, uh, let's say for example, ooh ooh, man moth, right? Uh, Carl, if I don't know. I'm sure all of you remember <laughs> when uh, when Steve said they cloned a mammoth and he wanted to know what Carl thought of that. Carl said, mammoth? And you know what? That cannot be generated by the mind of a writer. Because a writer, if you tell him, okay, uh, they're cloning mammoths. Think of something funny. He's, the writer is just going to follow like the logical patterns. He's going to think of, say, mammoth. Okay, big size, uh, you know, hairy, uh, ice age, extinct. He's going to follow those lines. He's not going to think mammoth. That kind of sounds like man moth. Because man moth is not a thing. <laughs> so a writer cannot conceive of, of a thing like, like man moth. That has to come from from a genuine brain <laughs> you know it has to be a genuine thought from from a non-writer so to me this thing about like scripted character impossible you cannot do that some of the stuff he says honestly there's nobody that funny there's nobody in life that that writes material that funny that, that's just ridiculous uh, i mean just the notion of it i mean i can't even think of it i i, I can you can tell me about any type of writer. You know, you can tell me about the comedians. You can, they never, never achieve this level, because this is not writing. <laughs> you know, this is a unique brain thoughts generated in accordance with brain, with with Carl's brain and the way it functions. So it's unique to him only. It's not a thing a writer can do. Uh, what Steve says, those amazing, witty, snappy, you know, uh, remarks and, and, and those zingers that he drops at, at such a speed, those are generated by the mind of a writer, you know, because it follows logical patterns and that's why you laugh because 
it's funny. But you laugh at the car stuff because it's so it's so unexpected and so unorthodox that that's what makes it funny. Man moth. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's what makes it funny. It's the fact that you know Carl believes, you know, at least believed that for a second that they have cloned a hybrid of a man and a moth. And that's why it works. To me, this has always been to me like why uh, Carl is not a scripted character. Because I write and I know. If you tell me, like, 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 come up with something funny, I'm going to have to find a logical pattern to follow to give you the funny. So, yeah, that was a whole... Uh, that, that took longer than I expected, but, you know, I hope it was clear. Uh, anyway, uh, this was fun. <laughs> this is amazing. And you know what? I'm not even done with the videos. There's still more Carl videos out there. It's insane. You know, for a guy who's not even like a writer or anything he's got endless content i don't know how anyway i uh, hope you enjoyed all of that uh if you're watching this video and you haven't seen the xfm shows i've reacted to every single one of them minus the best ofs and the you know and, and like the ones that i shouldn't react to <laughs> uh, and it's all there uh yeah go check that out and until next time.